Hi everyone, this is Beth with All Array of Light. Today is the 30th of October 2020. Wow, the election's almost here. The election is almost here. I don't know about anybody else, but a little bit of anxiety when I go into my head, I get anxious. When I sit still, when I breathe, when I connect with my guides, I don't feel anxious. I feel like everything's gonna be fine. Um, so I wanted to see, well, I thought I was going to do a couple of the states, so we'll see if that's how this goes, but they did want me to share, um, briefly an image I was given earlier this week about who's going to win the election. I, you know, I'm still going to, um, hopefully do a reading on Sunday just to, cause I want to visit Texas again and, and a few other ones that I wasn't completely, oh, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my list. Um, a few things that I wasn't exactly clear on or see if they'll give me any more guidance. But I was given the image the other day and it was like I was standing, almost like, it felt like a riverbed. Like a, 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 if you've ever been in a riverbed where that's fairly dry, but you know, kind of the sand might be a little moist, but there's no water right in the, the area. And um, it was like there were two directions, to the right and to the left. <laughs> And as I was looking out into the right, I could see a wave of red water. So it looked like a huge, you know, when you look off in the distance and you see a wave and you're like, oh, that looks like a pretty, that wave looks like it might be pretty big coming this way. And so I had some fear in that image <laughs> a little bit, but I was watching it. And as the wave came, I realized that it wasn't as big as my initial fear about it was. And in fact, the closer it got, the closer it got, the closer it got, it, it, it was apparent that it was not going to hit me. And so it's like the wave wasn't as big. In fact, it, it wasn't enough to even hit my feet. You know, it was like a wave that just kind of went nowhere. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I felt like that uh, red wave had been, uh, oh, I don't know the, uh, po political rallies and all the things that you see that um, the Trump people are, you know, just pushing is trying to show that he's so popular. Yes, with that redness, <laughs> he's very popular, but it doesn't extend and it's not going to be enough. It doesn't extend enough. It's not as big of a wave as it looks. Okay. So then I looked over um, to the left and there was a blue wave. And that wave, um, it, it's like it kept coming and it didn't really feel like it changed size. Like it felt like it was just steadily coming. It, it was it was just coming and then as it came, um, it didn't take me down, but it like came about at my waist. So I was suddenly in a waist level water that was very blue and it just went that way and kind of meeting the red. <laughs> Um, so to me, that was like a reassuring image I got shown earlier this week and I wanted to share it. It, it, it helped me out a lot because I realized that so much of my anxiety, probably paying too much attention to social media and the news and that kind of crap. And that I needed to just calm down that there was an energy here and that energy was extremely strong and it was coming and the blue Blue energy was coming. So I just wanted to share that. Now I want to cover a couple of the states. So let me see. I think I want to start with Florida. So let me see if I can see how Florida is going to go. Um, I know Florida is a red state pretty much. Although I know in the past it has it voted for Obama. But let me see. How's Florida going to go this time, Spirit? How's Florida going to go, guides? What do you want us to see? Oh, that's interesting. So I, I definitely got the, I guess I'm going to get wave imagery. <laughs> They're going to give that to me. Um, I see the blue and the red together and it's purple. So it's, it's purple. Florida's going to be purple. It's more purple than we realize, but okay, but that's nice spirit, but what does that mean for who's going to take it on election night? So let me see.
Mm, I can't get clear, y'all. All I'm seeing is like purple waves, um, like the waves of, of, of water, purple waves. I, I guess I'm going to put that on my list to... It's so close, I think. They're telling me it's very close. So I'm going to put Florida. Florida, I'm going to revisit. Um, I wish they would just tell me. I'm frustrated with them. <laughs> Come on, guides. <laughs> like, you can force them to tell you what they don't want you to know, right? Okay, so let me look at... Um, it was Florida, so I'm going to look at North Carolina. Let me see how North Carolina is going to go. Tell us about North Carolina. Is there an energy that they want us to know about North Carolina? I don't know. I just heard blue. I just heard blue. Okay, hold on. Can you give imagery that is more apparent? I, I think Biden might take it by a couple of points. It's going to be close. But I feel like um, a couple of points may go Biden. Um, it's going to be very close. I wonder if that changes anything with Graham and... Um, Jamie Harrison. This may be one that ends up in a, in, I don't know if it, I don't, hopefully not a recount, but I do feel, um, I feel Biden up a couple of points there. I see blue. Okay. So let me go. I'm going to, I'm going to look at Ohio. So let me look at Ohio and see what the spirit, what the guides want us to know about Ohio. What do you want us to know about Ohio? I I think Ohio may go to Trump because I'm seeing, I don't know, for lack of a better word, I'm just going to tell you how it's showing up for me. I'm feeling, I'm getting the image of like a, a, a kind of a burly kind of person. To me, I would think it was somebody who, who works and they're, they've got strong arms, but they have a MAGA, they have a MAGA flag. And I feel like the MAGA, like, the MAGA flag being used, almost like pushing, pushing out of the way. It's not a great image. Um, it feels close, but I don't think um, Ohio's going to go to Biden. Okay, so let me see. Um, let me look at Nevada. Let me see. What do you want us to know about Nevada? I don't know. I'm hearing blue. Okay, so I'm hearing blue. Is there is there any more? Obviously, they're unhappy with the economy. Hold on. I think it's going to go Biden. And and we'll see how correct I am in interpreting the energy with this on election night. But I'm, I'm seeing like blue. I'm hearing blue. Is there any other image you want us to know about Nevada? They're saying something about... Um, voting registration or something paying off. Like, I don't know if if um, the Democrats and Biden have done a lot of extra voting registration or if there, there's something like that. None of these, I think, are going to be blowouts. Um, but I do feel, it feels like Nevada could be three or four points. Eh, you know, and I hope I'm right about this. Um... Let me see if there's anything else they want us to know today about the election coming up. Because I still want to try to visit this. I'm not, I don't think I want to read the election night, but just kind of, is there anything else you want us to know? Trump's, I feel like they're getting bad um, internal polls. Like they're getting bad inter internal polls. Feel, I feel it like they feel it slipping away from them. Like, I'm getting water again. Like, it's slipping away from them. They can't hold it in the water. Hold on. He's trying to sprint to the finish line. But he, no offense, Trump can't run. And I don't mean that in a rude, <laughs> rude way. But that's, the image I'm getting isn't like to make fun of his weight. It's, but it, it's a, exact, it, it, it's the symbolism though. He can't. He can't carry himself over the finish line. Honestly, between the two of them, he can't do it. He, he's got too much baggage. So I guess in the ba and the baggage is not his body. The baggage is him. It's his personality. It's his um, 
policies. It's how he handled COVID. It's, it's all the stuff with him. Oops, sorry, somebody coming in. Um, he can't carry that. It's like, it's like they're, they're saying like he tried to, if you didn't train for a marathon and then you tried to run a marathon, you're not going to complete the marathon. Um, and once again, I think I did the reading recently where I saw the, the grasshopper and the hare. He's the, the grasshopper. He, I mean, the tortoise, tortoise and the hare. <laughs> I can't get which, I'm getting all my parables messed up. He's the, he, he's the, um, hare. He's, he thinks he can just do it all at the last minute. He thinks he can pull it off. He thinks he can pull it off. But at the same time, I'm hearing he can't, he, he's got too much baggage. The, 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 the energy sweeping him, the universal energy. I, I feel almost like, just like the universe was, I, and I believe he was being divinely used and by used, I mean, um, trying to wake us up, wake up. Wake up, America. <laughs> Wake up. Here's all these things you need to be looking at. Um, there's there's also an energy of, of um, other energy sweeping this way now, which is, did you learn enough? Well, I think you've learned enough. Now what are you going to do with this knowledge? So we're, it's almost like a, pen, you know, the pendulum swinging a little bit back this way. Okay, so hold on. Let me see if there's something else they want me to say. Yeah, I'm going to read again, probably Sunday, but right now I don't feel him. He's he's trying to marathon him way, and he's not trained for the marathon. Uh, he's got too much baggage. Let me feel Biden really quick. Cautiously optimistic, and I still feel him. I feel him kind of relieved that the, as much as they flung and flung and flung the crap of Hunter Biden, it didn't stick on him like Hillary's emails did. It didn't stick that way. I know that there's people who are going to believe every last dirty thing that was said, um, but it didn't stick. It didn't, it just like, like mud sliding off. So there's like a residue of mud left on you, but it didn't stick to him. So he's feeling cautiously about that. Let me see. Yeah. So I'm just getting this real energy of optimism, even though, like I said, my brain wants to be into anxiety and fear but right in here, in my gut self, and in my intuitive self, and in my connective self, I feel, I feel good. So I'm gonna work on staying in this place because I want to hold the image of a of a win for Biden and Harris, and you know, like taking back this country. Um, and so I'm gonna revisit um, one last time this weekend, and probably try to see what I think is gonna happen election night and Netflix especially the weeks into to November, but this is where I think it is. And I, I, um, I think it's, I think it's blue water. <laughs> I think blue water's coming. Um, I think Trump's going to take Ohio. I keep seeing purple with, with Florida. So I think that's too close to call. I think North Carolina's going to go blue. I think Nevada's going to go blue, and I'm going to revisit probably Texas and Florida and a couple of things on Sunday, but blessings, everyone. Stay balanced. Stay, breathe, breathe, okay? We we need to hold the energy and the intention of, of uh, change and of good change coming our way, so hope everyone's doing okay. Bye.